Hey guys, Roxbox90 here with another card a day in the life of an EDH commander. So let's go do a card that many newer players, like Alter Dimension, many new players may not have heard of this card. If they're new to EDH, if they're new to Magic, if they're generally playing Standard, they may not have heard of or considered using this card in EDH. So let's talk about it. This card is Bribery. So before we get into a little backstory about Bribery, let's see what it does. It's three and two blue, five for a sorcery. Search target opponent's library for a creature, put that card into play under your control, then the player shuffles the library. So pretty self-evident what it does. You go to their deck, you steal a big creature, and you get it for five mana. Whatever creature you steal, it doesn't matter. So back in the day, this came out in Mercedian Mask which I was around when that happened. So pulled a bunch of them. I think I traded most away because everyone's saying, why would you do that? Well, back in the day, creatures were not necessarily as powerful as they are today. So spells were a lot cooler to be running, and bribery, you'd play it for five, and there weren't many creatures that cost more than five to make it worth stealing. And this is before I was playing EDH. So once you get into EDH, bribery becomes stupid dumb especially nowadays in the last, I don't know, seven, eight years, where you have cards like Primeval Titan that exist, and Emrakul, well, you can't use Emrakul now, but like Ulamog, when you have these ridiculously huge, powerful creatures, and they see lots of EDH play, Bribery becomes a very, very powerful sought-after card. So, what Bribery does is pretty self-evident. Many metagroups ban it. When we ran it, the reason that we ban that we considered banning it, I don't think we ended up, no, we didn't end up banning it. We didn't end up banning it because we found that it wasn't as unfair as could be because you can counterspell it, you can redirect it. There's so many things you can mess around with it. But many metagroups will ban it because what happens, somebody hits turn four or five, plays bribery, goes and steals. This is before Primeval Titan was banned, particularly. He steals Primeval Titan, two lands immediately. Then... Following turn more lands, the game warps around Primeval, stupid dumb. Consecrated Sphinx, there are a number of creatures like that that just, the game suddenly is warped and because you got it so early. So I don't think that's such a problem, as I said, because there's many ways to deal with it, but I can see why many groups would have a problem playing with it. Now Primeval Titan is banned, so that most frustrating card that Bribery worked with is no longer there but it's not like it stops Blightsteel Colossuses and other craziness. So I personally would say I don't think it's a problem because there's plenty of ways to handle it, but some people will have a problem. So be careful, I guess, in your group when you use it. Maybe check with everyone, make sure it's okay. And yeah, that's pretty much what to say about bribery. It's awesome in EDH, period. Thanks for watching, guys. Please check out my channel sponsors below in the description. And as always, Roxbox90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.